If you've got a Facebook page, you might have wondered how to create a playlist to be able to put together and archive your past recordings of your live streams or video content. That's what we're going to address today. And my name is Krishna Day. You'll find me online at krishna.me. So I'm here on one of my pages and what you'll see here playing immediately is a live video. The reason that you're seeing that right at the top is because I actually have just finished a live video and Facebook will leave it there for a period of time until such time that they deem it appropriate to take it off there. And what will happen is it then will be replaced with whatever you've decided is going to be that top video, should you choose to do so. So I often will make that something that I want to have highlighted, let's say a recent live stream or a tutorial that I want to get people to be able to easily find. So that's a really great idea to be able to do that. However, let's scroll down to the playlists and see where they are. So underneath the playlist, underneath that, you'll see the area of playlists. And what you'll see here is that if I click on playlist, it says add a playlist or reorder playlist. Now I've got lots of playlists already. So let's click on and see what happens when we say add a playlist. What will happen is you get the opportunity to put in a title and a short description. I definitely recommend putting in a little description. And in fact, you could even put in um, a URL. Make sure you've got HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in front of it because then you'll find it actually becomes a clickable link. So that could help you drive people back to wherever you want them to go. Let's say a particular page on your website. I'm not going to create a new playlist just here uh, because I don't need any more, but that's how you would go about creating it. So let's just cancel that at the moment. So here's an example of a playlist I've got. And what you'll see here, it's got the number of videos. You can see when it was last updated and it's got a description. But let's see underneath here where this one, where I've actually put a link with HTTP in front of it. And you can see that's a clickable link and that will go back over to my site. So that's what I meant by having a clickable link there. And if I scroll down, you'll then see another playlist. And then it says show more because I've got as I mentioned, quite a lot of playlists. We come back in terms of seeing how we reorder the playlists in just a moment. So in terms of here, if you hover over in terms of it says edit playlist, so if I click on edit playlist, it says change videos, or I could reorder the videos, or I could edit the title, or I could delete it. Well, what will I, I'll often do is once I've done a live stream, as an example, I've just done one about live video so it would be appropriate to put it into here the live video social video and live streaming tools news and tips so if i click on change videos now this probably won't work just now because it's only just finished and that's what i found is that sometimes you have to leave it a little while after a live stream but you can see here there's a number of short videos that i haven't put into it or there was something there that was very sp strictly around a promotion um, over here as well. So I don't want those to be in an archive, but I would want this one here, which I've just done, which is about four ways to look at powering up your mobile live stream to improve your productivity. So if I click on that, and then I, all I need to do is click on save. Now it may or may not go in uh, because of what I've just mentioned. So we're just going to go back down. So it actually re resets our page. And then we just need to scroll back down to actually find our playlist again. And as I anticipated, because that video is brand new, um, it actually isn't letting me add it on. So I'll have to just come back a few hours later to be able to add it into there. But that's all you need to do in terms of editing the playlist. Remember, you can change the videos so you can add or take things off. You can reorder the videos. To reorder the videos, all you need to do is actually then drag them in terms of on the playlist. And so here it's got the order that they're in. So if I want to, I can just hover over and I can just reorder them. Let's say I want to bring that one as the next one to be seen, or I want to move that into, that's the thing that I really want to encourage people to look at. I want to move that back for the moment because that's not the order I want them in just at now. So again, I'm just going to save that. One of the things that I find it really helpful to do in terms of ordering it, it means that I could just direct people to um, a particular playlist, or in fact, what I can do is I can find things myself. So it's a, a good way 
if somebody asks me about a video that I'd done, I can easily go back and find it. Let's scroll down the page though and uh, see what else we can see here. So right underneath that, you can see then it shows all my videos. So no matter what I've created, they're all there, but actually it's just showing the top three playlists that I've chosen to be in there. So let's scroll back up here and what you can do is also reorder your playlist as well. So rather than go to a specific playlist, which is edit playlist, to reorder your playlists, you're going to go up to here. You can see I've got seven playlists. Click on that and it says add a playlist, which we've done already, or reorder a playlist. So if you click on reorder the playlist, up it pops and all you need to do is then just move this up or down in terms of the order that you want it in and then click on the save at the end. Now the downside with the way that the playlists are set up is that we can't use it to bookmark anybody else's content. It is just going to pick up at this point in time unless it gets changed. It's different if you're on YouTube. You can actually have private playlists there and you can have playlists of people's content um, that you actually want to put together in terms of, let's say, on a topic area. Um, that's what I find really helpful on YouTube. Unfortunately, we can't do that here, but having the playlist there does make it something that it makes it easy for you to direct people to and also for your own sense of the videos that you've created on your page. Um, it actually allows you to put that together. A workaround if you actually want to um, keep a record of other people's videos. One thing that I do is I actually might share it to my own profile. I can share it privately. And one of the things you can do on a profile now is you can create an album. So I might share a specific video or live stream that somebody's done. I want to come back to it, save it into a private album onto my personal profile. I find that's a good way to do it. Another way you could do it is by creating a document or a note and actually then put it into, into that. I hope that gives you some assistance in terms of helping you manage your video content on your Facebook page. If you do have questions about this little tutorial, please don't hesitate to ask me on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or wherever you find me in terms of sharing this little tip. Thanks again for watching and let me know how you get on with creating your playlists.